Yeah, hello and hello and welcome to another update video about VeChain. VeChain did come into our target area here in highlighted in orange on this chart. Um, it did rally in five waves. I might need to shift this, however, let me just double check that. No, I don't. Okay, so target area was defined um, yesterday and communicated already on Discord and Telegram. Um, today I make a video to highlight to you that we reached target, right? Um, obviously, you know, I can't make a video about every coin every day. So um, yesterday I updated a lot of charts when we um, hit the top. So just to explanation, for explanation, as a channel member, you can access all of our live charts on TradingView, which means you can actually use them. You can see them. I think, I think you can integrate them into your own uh training view i'm not entirely sure how that works i've never tried it um maybe some of the channel members can can help out in the comments but the idea is obviously i do update charts when i see something to change or when a cycle has ended and yesterday the five wave cycle ended pretty clearly um and i already updated here about targets target reached scenario fulfilled which is great next step to fulfill the next step of the roadmap here is to turn around in this orange support area, rally in a third wave, and um, yeah, basically break above the wave one high, which was here at 2.5 cents. To do that with a high likelihood, it needs to hold the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement, and that's at 2.07 cents. Yeah, that's absolutely important. It has already come back to the 61.8 retracement. Um, it's a relevant area, but here in this larger pullback, VeChain also dropped below the 61.8 retracement. So it wouldn't be a surprise necessarily to make one more low here, but to maintain um, high probability within this 1-2 setup here, and the trend indeed has shifted here to the upside, we need to hold this low now, yeah? the 2.07 cent. I mean, we can still make another low, but we need to hold the 2.07 cent level. Uh, looking at the larger, the bigger picture, we rallied in five waves into the February high and then came down in an ABC correction. Here, I did originally assume that we would get a clearer B wave, you know, something like that A wave, B wave, C wave. The reason I assumed that was um, because the move down looked very much like a three wave structure. However, it became clear in the end that this B wave was actually a triangle. So that's also the explanation why we didn't get a, a strong B wave, a clear B wave. It all moved in this channel and the B wave was just a triangle A, B, C, D, E. So anyway, we came into the support area anyway um, and uh, rallied in five waves and we're now coming down in three. Now it needs to hold that support area. Hope that's clear. If we don't, yeah, if we drop below 2.07 cents, then next key support is down here, the 1.96 cent level. But by that time, um, this scenario will probably be invalidated, yeah, if we come down to that level. The thing is, though, that we have at the moment the situation that if we drop back out of this orange support area, we, we are basically back in the green range. So it's again the whole, the entire setup again that we talked about uh, in the last two to three weeks, right? So we're still in the target zone, in the bigger target zone. Now, zooming in a little bit into this wave two, it's the same story as we have it uh, on many other charts. A wave to the downside, B wave up, C wave down. The current price action suggests one more low. You know how it works. Sometimes we just don't get the additional low um, because sometimes these can rally at an instant. There are corrective structures that allow for it. You know, for example, at WXY, you wouldn't need another low. But in an ABC, actually, it would be ideal because then we can say that as a subwave structure, we had here a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, a wave four, and then one more low in a wave five of C, which would complete this wave two and then rally. Um, yeah, important is now to understand, you know, how high can this, let me just double check. I mean, it might even, now oh, it should be fine. You know, we've got a one, two up there. Um, it might, it might, it might. So yeah, this way for um, confirmation that we make one more low, possibly to that 2.07 cent level would be if we break below the 61.8 retrace at 2.17 cents. Um, but if we now go above a certain level, we have to assume the low is already in. 
what kind of level is that? That is the 2.3 cent level. If we get above that level, sustain there, it indicates a low is already in. That would be my signal level above which I change my view from, okay, we probably get one more small low to, okay, the low is probably already in. Yeah, I mean, scenario is fulfilled so far in that we are in this area, but we just need to turn around either now or after one more low. If we drop below this orange support again, then we are back in the larger support area, but the immediate setup is gonna get very un unlikely. Okay, that's my update about VeChain. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.